Let's move to the 2A South pairings. Sectional number 41 at Alexandria. On Tuesday night, LaPel will play Elwood. Wednesday night, game number one, Winchester Community plays Muncie Burris, followed by Alexandria and Frankton. That's game number two on Friday. Friday, excuse me, that's on Wednesday. Friday, game one, Wapahani will play the LaPel Elwood winner. Sectional 42 at Hagerstown. This one, uh, Tuesday night, game number one, Union County plays Hagerstown. The second game of the evening features Cambridge City Lincoln and Shenandoah. Game one on Wednesday, Knightstown will play Centerville, followed by the Eastern Hancock Northeastern matchup. Sectional number 43 at Indianapolis, Washington. The host, Washington, will play Park Tudor the first game on Tuesday night. The second game will be Triton Central taking on Indianapolis Cardinal Ritter. Wednesday, game one at Indianapolis, Washington. Indian Creek plays Heritage Christian, followed by Indianapolis Cecina and Heron. In sectional number 44 at South Ripley. Tuesday night, number 10, Switzerland County plays Southwestern Hanover. Switzerland County beat Southwestern Hanover twice, 61-58 on the 28th of November, and then again 85-71 on January the 15th. Game number one on Wednesday night features South Ripley and North Decatur, followed by the Hauser Milan matchup. And then Lawrenceburg will play the Switzerland County Southwestern Hanover winner in game number one on Friday. Sectional number 45 at North Knox. The host, North Knox, taking on Linton Stockton the, uh, on Tuesday night's game. The winner of that game will play South Knox Friday night in the second game of the evening following the Eastern Green-Bloomfield matchup. Sectional number 46, Tuesday night game number one. Cloverdale will play Monrovia, followed by the Tri-West Hendricks-North Putnam matchup. On Wednesday, game number one, Speedway will play Cascade, followed by Covenant Christian, and South Putnam. Sectional number 47 at Paoli. On Tuesday night, West Washington takes on the number one ranked Brownstown Central Ball Club. That was the runners-up last year in the uh, 2A boys basketball tournament. Brownstown Central beat West Washington 57-45 on February the 2nd. Game number one on Wednesday night, number 16, Austin plays Eastern Pekin. The second game of the night, Paoli will play Clarksville. Friday night, game one, Providence will take on the West Washington Brownstown Central winner. And in sectional number 48 at Forest Park, Tuesday night, game number one, the host Rangers of Forest Park will take on Perry Central. The second game of the evening features South Spencer and Evansville Modern Day. Tell City will take on the Forest Park Perry Central game. Uh, They'll take on the winner of that game in game number one on Friday night, followed by North Posey and their matchup with the South Spencer Evansville Modern Day winner. Charlie, let's go to Alexandria. Man, this thing is loaded. I mean, it's really, this is a tough little sectional. Uh, Alexandria, the host, ranked number 13. They're taking on Frankton, second game on Wednesday. Winchester, game number one on Wednesday, the number eight, taking on Muncie Burris. But uh, you have, in this uh, sectional alone, you have five basketball teams with uh, 500 record or better. So uh, rankings notwithstanding, this is a very balanced sectional. Well, and they've been going back and forth on each other all year. Mm-hmm. You know, you've got LaPel who you don't really figure to maybe be a sectional favorite, winning by 16 right before Christmas against Alex. And then you've got Winchester with a lot of tournament experience, and they got a really nice shooter at Neil Brashears. Garth Cohn for years at Alexandria has just been a, done a great job there. And you're right, that East Central Indiana, that's a great basketball area. Absolutely. Sectional 42 at Hagerstown, no one ranked, but you have, you know, talk about this, you have Eastern, Hancock, Centerville, and Knightstown all with 11 wins. So how much more balanced do you need to be? Well, it seems like a lot of the sectionals in the 2A North, there's five or six teams that could win. Right. There's not a lot of real standouts, and that should make for a great crowds and great interest because – 
if you feel your team has a chance, you're more likely to come support them. You look at sectional 43 at Washington, same thing. You have Washington, Cecina, Tri-Central hovering around the 500 mark. If you go to South Ripley, sectional number 44, Switzerland County ranked number 10, and you would think that you might give them the edge. They take on south to western of Hanover on Tuesday night, but North Decatur's won 11. Uh, you have South Ripley with 11 wins. So, uh, again, the, the ranking might give someone the edge at, at Switzerland County, but there are a couple of pretty solid teams there. Well, to show you what can happen, Bob, anytime is you've got a, a result here just last Thursday, a 6-11 and 11 Lawrenceburg team mm-hmm. beats the 10th-ranked Switzerland County team by a point just three, three days ago. Not to be cliched, but that is why they play them. That's exactly <laughs> why they play them. Uh, at North Knox, Eastern Green, the, the only team with a winning record there. South Putnam, another one of those sectionals, Charlie. Five teams with winning records going into the tournament. And that's pretty much it. It's just down to – you. and the thing is, when you have that kind of depth in a tournament, you're not going to get away with playing good one night. You're Absolutely. Play well more than one night. We mentioned Brownstown Central. Uh, they're number one. Uh, runners up a year ago uh, in that sectional it appears austin may be one of their stiffest competitors as will eastern of pekin and then uh in sectional 48 at forest park three ranked teams charlie and you know what it's like to battle through there those three ranked teams north posey number five uh they're they're taking on the winner of the south spencer evansville modern day matchup modern day 15th forest park plays perry central forest park ranked number 12 uh, a lot of things can happen when you have teams that, that well coached and that well drilled and that talented. And you don't know if this is always an advantage. North Posey's had the edge in a little round robin with Forest Park and mm-hmm. Mater D, but that also means you're going to have to beat a good team a second time.